Hi Recyples, welcome to the ninth and last video in the series where I teach you how to play Johann Sebastian Bach's Prelude in C. We're learning the last four measures, 33 and on, and they sound like this. and you hold that out with a nice little fermata there. Okay, so <laughs> your left hand is going to play, uh, your left hand is really hanging out on this low C. Okay, so here's middle C and two octaves down. For all these four measures to close, your left pinky is gonna be hanging on to that low C, which makes it pretty easy. And you're gonna be playing an octave to start things off. So you've got this C and then this C an octave higher. All right, now in your right hand, you're gonna play a G with your thumb, a B flat, and an E, and you're gonna use the same rhythmic structure that you have for the whole uh, rest of the song. For this measure, the other measures are different, but for this measure, you're gonna arpeggiate from the bottom to the top, arpeggiate the right hand, and repeat. You notice that this part is in uh, two, you see two bold P's, uh, italicized piece, that's pianissimo, qu uh, pretty quiet. Now you've got this word, I'm gonna show you the next part here, but before I do, I'm gonna show you the word that you see, um, calando, and that means you're gonna you're gonna be slowing down a whole bunch as we close out this song, right? So your, uh, or piece, your left hand is still playing C's. You can see that those first two notes are still that low C. And then your right hand is gonna play an F. Now what you really wanna think about here is like an F major chord. So if you can sort of get these notes in your hand or in your brain somehow before you start looking, looking at what's going on here, it'd be a lot easier. You've got an F, an A, a C, and another F with your pinky. And what you're doing here is you're gonna play it like this. You're gonna play the, the low C and then this C, and then it's gonna sound like this. F, A, C, F, C, A, C, And then here it gets a little bit weird. You've got a D, and back up to that F, and then D. So I know that's like a whole bunch of notes, but if you think about that F chord plus this D down here, then it's gonna make a little more sense. And uh, I'll leave um, finger guides in the sheet music that I link to in, uh, in the description, but you can use whatever fingers, you know, make sense. Now, the, the second to last measure, you're gonna keep that low C, but you're gonna bring your thumb down to a B. It sounds very, ooh, sort of strange. And your right hand is now thinking about a G7 um, chord, actually. So you've got, if you think about your right hand playing a G, a B, a D, and an F, that's gonna help you play this next measure. So you play that C and the B in your left hand, and then you play this. G, B. Play that last B with your forefinger so you can jump down to this D right here and play D up to this F, F to an E, E to a D, D. And it's all setting up this big ending which just sounds like this. Ah, ah, how nice. That's the idea. That it's not just me being corny, although I am being corny. So. <laughs> You're gonna play these low octave C's with your left hand for this last measure, and just you're gonna hold it down for a count of four. Your right hand is gonna play E, G, and C. You'll notice that little winky sign above there, that, that's called a fermata, and that means you just hold it out a little bit longer than you normally would. You can kinda just let it, you know, breathe. And that's the whole song, I hope that helped.